good afternoon, everyone. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here, and, and thank you, Lon, for that wonderful introduction. Um, as Lon said, I am a, a bit of an industry veteran. I think I attended my first one of these about 25 years ago. And uh, actually, 40 years ago, pretty much this month, I was fortunate to be in a group that turned on the seventh cellular system in the United States, and of all places, Cleveland, Ohio. And so as somebody who's been at the birth of an industry and now seeing it in sort of a, a new phase, I'd like to also uh, introduce my new company, which is not at its birth, but is certainly at a new phase. Um, to give a little context, only four years before that event in 1985, Microsoft and IBM launched the first PC in 1981. And there was a little known concept then called an operating system, MS-DOS. And essentially it was thought it was a giveaway on the PC, right? Well, that company actually grew up to be Microsoft and we all know the power of operating systems. So in short, Deep Green, yes, we're a data to value company, but we really have a higher ambition. We would like to become the operating system company for the new digital economy. We're probably one of the uh, most accomplished companies that you haven't heard of yet, and today is a little bit of a coming out party for us. So we're going to introduce a different world of AI to you, and I'm coming to you today as, as more of a user and a generator of AI applications that have pretty strong implications for what we're going to do on the devices. But in short, we're a data-to-value factory. This new digital economy is characterized by blockchains, AI, and the other technologies, allowing us to fractionalize assets, to actually unbundle the old system of financialization and create new financial assets. We go one step further, we go deeper, and we couple that to digital exchanges, banking, payments, et cetera. Importantly, we only do investment grade products. Um, one of the things I'll get to in a minute is, is how the crypto industry is so much different from this new age of digital finance. Another important aspect is to be vertically integrated. And that's where we're going to start talking about the edge. Because AI, our belief, should be vertical. It needs to solve problems. It needs to cure, have solutions for everyday problems. Today, it's much more like a novelty a very scary novelty sometimes. We want to democratize AI. We want to use it to accomplish good things for human. And finally, it's, there's a reason green is in our name. Our heritage is in the green energy space where a lot of this digital finance started actually about five or six or seven years ago with carbon credits. And we are all about sustainability. But we're about creating profitable sustainability because we believe that sustainability without profitability just isn't sustainable. Now, a word about digital finance. Now, many of you might know already a lot about digital finance, but it literally is a tsunami. It's coming fast and hard. So far, there's been about one trillion of assets that have gone digital, that is in some form on the, doc, uh, on the uh, blockchain. The forecasts are for that market in five years to go from a trillion dollars worth of digitized assets to 16 trillion, a 75% annual growth rate. But the amazing thing is the future. There's $900 trillion worth of assets that can be fractionalized. And to give you an idea of, of what that really means, it's as if the Internet of Things became the monetization of all things. Everything that we do in, in our normal, everyday, traditional world of finance could be digitized and could be monetized all over again. And finally, a lot of this has to be human driven, right? So we've already solved the last mile. That was a term way back in the 80s when, when I was in the cellular business and even in the 90s when we started out building fiber systems. It was all about the last mile. We're way beyond that. We're now down to the last minute the last millimeter and the last nanosecond. How do you put decision making in the hands of users who are literally doing, in this case, trillions of transactions per second? AI in our business is crucial at every stage. 
give you a case study. And this is about our going deep. We already believe that you need to have AI at the edge. We are right now implementing uh, a system of 50 data centers across the US and, and other parts of the world eventually. And they're going to have next generation capabilities. But very importantly, not your everyday data center. They're going to be agentic AI led. We believe, again, coming back to our philosophy of the AI, it has to solve problems. We're going to have sector expertise in each data center and drive decision making out to the edge. Why? because that's the assets that we're going to monetize. We have four different ways to monetize these assets in terms of digital tokens, subject probably for a later time. But by distributing technology out to the edge, distri distributing compute power out to the edge, distributing intelligence out to the edge, and distributing applications to the edge, we're going to solve a lot more problems in the world. Now the green part. That was the deep part. The green part. We're working with a group that's conserving 71 million hectares of ocean and forest land in a province of Indonesia called Maluku. Now, this started with a whole carbon credit thing. But basically, nowadays, what we can do is preserve nature by monetizing it and then reinvesting those proceeds back in the province. So literally, billions of dollars are going to be generated by not cutting down the forest, by not overfishing, but by doing just exactly the opposite, preserving those. And those funds are going to be deposited back into development funds for the chain of islands, 1,300 islands. And the amazing thing about tokenization is this can be done in months, not years. Where old style financial systems and subsidies and and uh, politics and everything else could have taken years to put together what we're going to be able to put together in just a few months' time. Now a word about tokenization and, and digital finance. First of all, Deep Green is about taking everything out of the wild west. Many of you who have either come into more or less contact with the crypto world know it's very much like the United States back in the 1850s. There's a lot of outlaws, there's a lot of settlers, there's no sheriffs, there's no rules, lots of guns. We're taking that out of the picture. We're only going to do investment grade. Everything we're going to be about is about verification, identity, provenance, and ultimately trust. Because no financial system in the world really can exist without those things. You have to know who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, where it came from, and I've got to trust the source. That is probably the most important use of AI in what we do. We are going to be literally dealing, again, think of a, a home mortgage where now instead of having one banker, you have essentially maybe 200 investors or 300 investors. All of those people have to be identified, managed, trusted, verified. You cannot do that without AI. And so AI is the door opener for a lot of these things, but also the way we're going to regulate it. Now, again, coming back to the 900 trillion or the huge volumes, you can't do any of this without a huge amount of cloud to edge optimization. There simply isn't enough energy in the world to do this in the cloud. You can't find enough data centers. You can't buy enough power plants. You can't put in the energy fast enough. So a lot of what we're doing is moving computing power and our AI and our technology to the edge because it's better, faster, cheaper, and most important, greener. If you're going to build power for edge computing, it has to be green these days. So we come full circle. We go green, we go deep into the verticals, and we go even deeper into the financialization. So is it time to go all in? Well, we're in. <laughs> we're all in. But I want to sort of close with one thought. The ultimate edge is the human. We only do things in technology. We only create cell phones. We only do AI. We only 
build operating systems so humans can do better things, humans can have more informed lives. AI must be like that. It must be able to help us. We shouldn't be afraid of it. It should help us. It should be a tool. It should be something that improves our lives. So number one, we've got to take the scariness out of it. One of the ways you do that, we believe in AI equity. One of our sayings is AI unlimited, prosperity unbound. We want to democratize AI. We want everybody to have AI equity. And we want everybody to have it in the palm of their hand. So just like when the first telephone call was made by somebody roaming around with a handset, we want AI on the handset. We want people to have equity. We want it to be safe. And the way you make it safe is don't put, don't put it in the cloud and put chains around it and put a fence around it. Bring it out to the edge. Bring it out into the open. That's what we're doing. We're using it open source. So for us, the human is the edge. And that's where AI needs to be. Thank you.